Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm going to teach you how to make a song like Frank Ocean. So originally I wanted to title this video how to make pop music so it could fall into my brand new series. But I just realized that this track that I've made is more like Frank Ocean. And it also gives me the opportunity to showcase my brand new drum kit that I just released on my online shop. Which has drum sounds from over 8 Frank Ocean songs called the blonde and beyond kit i think you guys would really like it so if you want to support me go check it out now let's get into how to make a track like frank ocean so in a lot of frank ocean tracks you'll hear either a Rhodes or a Wurlitzer. so i just used lounge lizard like always and chose the first uh Wurlitzer program from the Wurlitzer bank and i played out these chords here's how they sound dry And then I added some chorus, some SSL reverb, uh, some EQ to cut the lows, and a bit of compression. Here's how it sounds with the effects on. Yeah, I just think these effects make it sound more washed out and more vintage, which is more like Frank Ocean's style. So the next thing I added was some sub bass to fill out the low end of the track. So here's how the sub bass sounds. You might want to put on some headphones to hear it better. And here's how it sounds with the chords. Yeah, so I think that sounds pretty good. So the next thing I added was this preset that I have in Tel Uno LX, which, as I've said before, is one of my favorite VST plugins. So I just used this lead sound and I played uh, the first, third, and fourth chords uh, from the electric piano. So here's how the synth sounds. And the reason why I chose this synth sound is because it has a really vintage feel to it. Uh, and I thought it really fit the Frank Ocean style. And it just had like a nice long decay. So it could like sort of stretch out and fill in those boring gaps. And on top of that, I added some more SSL reverb. So yeah, here's how all these layers sound together. Alright, so this is the last part of the synth section. The, I just added this little riser uh, over here. Here's how it sounds. And on top of that, I just added some reverb and I increased the decay so it would just flow nicely. So here's how it sounds in conjunction with the rest of the sounds. It just makes the track flow a lot nicer into each section. Uh, so now, onto the drums. So, I used my brand new Blonde and Beyond kit uh, to make these drums. And I used the kick drum from In My Room, the Future of Free Snare, the Nike's Hi-Hat, and the In My Room percussion sound to make these drums.
and I just put some reverb on it. Here's how it sounds dry. All right, and now let's listen to the whole track. Alright guys, I hope you have enjoyed this uh, tutorial on how to make a Frank Ocean track. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please leave a comment. If you'd like to support me, uh, please buy the drum kit that I used to make this track. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. Uh, if you really liked it, please subscribe. And yeah, that's it from me.